Viewers under the age of 18 are not permitted to view this program. It contains nudity, sexual references, violence, strong language, drug abuse, and hardcore dubka. In the St. Paul's education system, the people are represented by two separate yet unequally important groups, the lebs who instigate crime and the other races who witness the offenders. These are their stories. <laughs> On this afternoon, as hundreds of angry Lebanese protesters stormed the city, joining global outrage over an great copter shortage. Riot police were forced to use capsicum spray as the crowd hurled bottles and makeshift weapons at officers. Tens Gabrielle Boyle joins us now live from Samples. Gabby. How did all this start? Well, look, Matt, this was supposed to be a peaceful protest, but as you can tell from the sirens behind me, it has turned out to be anything but. Just in the last couple of minutes, we have in fact run down here. Crowds of riders, they've broken out into several groups. As you can see, it's very agitated, the situation here. Our cameraman just a couple of minutes ago captured some pictures of the rioters. Uh, they're very agitated. In fact, he was injured. It's a very stressful situation, as you can understand, here, it's here this afternoon. Outraged and angry in Sydney's... St Paul's. From fiery, things quickly turned violent. An officer injured, out cold, dragged from the pit of the angry mass, bloodied and dazed. His workmates try to reassure him. With no apparent plan, the hundred-strong crowd of mostly men stormed through the city. Police caught off guard. Projectiles hurled at police. In Pitt Street Mall, a wall of force as frightened shoppers. The chaos continued through the afternoon. Protesters vowing this will not be the last time they take to the streets to spread their message. Look, things seem to have dispersed a little bit here in this city. As you can see, police are still on the streets. There is a very heavy police presence. My warning to you firsthand is avoid the CBD if at all possible. We know that some buses are being diverted out of the area, some roads are closed, and it is still a very tense situation in Sydney. St Paul. And no sign of it abating anytime soon. So, who are you going to miss most in this year group? Definitely Vishal, he's my favourite. Danny too. Tripping over Mal in year seven. Falling over backwards over Mal because he's strategically placed to trip me over in the middle of a year seven geography class. But anyway, moving on. We're, we're, not that I'm uh, bitter or anything. Yeah. Lewis Gaffer. Yeah. Sound great. Yeah. That's plain Italian. Okay, so what am I spelling right now? J-O-H-N. Giovanni. <laughs> Or, as the Spanish might say, Juan. Or, as the um, French might say, Jean. 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 French might say, Jean. What are you going to miss most about this year group? The most, I think, the easygoing personalities and the amount of fun I've had. The laughs. Yeah. Leadership. Very yeah. 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 yeah.
incredible uh, giftedness. Uh, the, just the general, the vibe, it's the vibe. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's a great community, whether or not, you know, I'm often at the kids or with the kids. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's always going to hold a special place. Do you have any tips for the future? Get out of bed early in the morning. Um, make your mother proud. Just grow up. Accept responsibility. Have fun within limitations. Stay true to yourselves, you great young men. Be fine young men and grow into, grow into outstanding uh, uh, citizens and uh, the future is uh, very bright for most of us. I'm very proud. <laughs> Regret lost opportunity. Leave. What will you miss most about the school? Canteen. Fair oh. enough. Uh, what was... What, what was that called? Hush Browns in the morning. Hush Browns. Oh, they were good. They were good. Bloody uh, uh, last period wasn't too bad. Laughs. On recess and laughs and food fights. Probably the relationship with the other students and the staff. It's the water balloons. Yeah. The fights. Mr. Robertson. Yeah? Just his general antics and attitude. Gonna miss the occasional threat from him. <laughs> Just the fun we have every day, like some of the random songs we start singing in mass class or and I miss Louis Gaffar, he's a lot of fun. And um, but yeah, just a lot of the friendships and the daily routine of just having fun with everyone. Um, Mr. Follows, English class in general, not too bad. Well, the, um, I don't know, the people around here, I don't know, I'm gonna miss them a lot. Especially, I don't know about my Asian friend here, but I'm gonna miss all my other Asian friends, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the good times. Friends. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, um, if you had to give advice to the younger tykes. The tykes? What? <laughs> younger, younger kids. Um, oh, follow your dreams. <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> exactly. Just do it. Just do it. Hit the tape yeah. now. Don't continue to year 12. But if you do, just study hard. Study hard. Do what it is you want to do. And don't, don't, don't waste your chances. I would say stay organised, um, have a lot of fun and just enjoy yourself, be yourself, please. Live for yourself, darling. Number one, know an Asian because, you know, the, during maths time, you have their help. They'll help you a lot, trust me. I don't know, just, just do it. What do you want to say to the teachers you'll be leaving behind? Uh, thank you to all the good teachers, you know who you are, and you've been great, keep teaching, keep that feisty spirit you have for the love of children learning, and you take that and you get those ATAR points. Wait, those are the students. You help them get those ATAR points. Right. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, uh, thank you for everything you've done and good luck and I hope you don't miss us too much. Um, no, they, they've been pretty good. I owe them a lot. Uh, I know most people would probably say that but seriously they're, they're really good teachers. So um, just you know respect them and they'll help you out later on hopefully. Yeah what he said and ladies take care.
Establishing their territory, claiming this tree as their own, where they will likely mate and have other ritualistic processes. Elders within the village have very tribalistic type punishments. As can be seen here, we have a youngster which has obviously acted against their parent and is being punished for it by using of the belt and a shoe. It is very tribalistic, very animalistic in nature, but it is, is to be expected of the Lebanatus. What we can actually see here is an amazing process in action. We see female in prime and being assaulted by several other members of the crew, all attempting to gain her favor and have her bear their children. They are truly an amazing race. And 
a good way of studying our past and understanding where we came from as a human race. Start it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom. Got a whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. I didn't keep you real from the jump. Living at my mama house, we'd argue every month. I was I was trying to get it on my own. Working all night, traffic on the way home. And my uncle calling me like where you at? I gave you the keys, so you bring it right back. I just I just think it's funny how it goes. Now I'm on the road, half a million for a show. And we started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Yeah, started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Start, started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Boys, boys tell stories about the man. Say I never struggled, wasn't hungry, yeah I doubt it. I can turn your boy into the man. There ain't really much out here that's popping off without us. We just want the credit where it's due. I'ma worry about me, give a f about you. Just as, just as a reminder to. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who oh no. knew? The matter is simply inconclusive we been through, then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side, and now you gon' be with me for the last. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began you know, we Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again tell you. When I see you again Watch your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small Turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side it's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all